हेलो जीनेसिस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिराइव द थर्मोडाइनमिक प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ बोस आइंस्टाइन स्टैट वी डिड द सेम फॉर मैक्सवेल बोसमैन स्टैट एंड यूजिंग दैट वी डिराइव द मैक्सवेल बोसमैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन वी विल डू द सेम फॉर बोस आइंस्टाइन स्टैट आल्सो सो सिमिलर टू मैक्सवेल बोसमैन स्टैट वी विल इमेजिन बॉक्सेस व्हिच आर नथिंग बट एनर्जी लेवल्स and we have number of particles which are n now this number of microstates is nothing but how these n particles can arrange themselves in these energy levels so first we will assume that this energy level contains n1 particles this energy level contains n2 particles this energy level contains n3 particles and so on to ng particles now there could be a possibility that these energy levels are degenerate that means there is further splitting of these energy levels so this is our diagram that we need to understand in the maxwell boltzmann statistics the particles were distinguishable but in here the particles are indistinguishable so let us take an indistinguishable particle in here we don't need to track like where this particle went where this particle went and so on in maxwell boltzmann statistics we needed to do that and that is what maxwell boltzmann statistics deal with distinguishable particles but in here now we are in quantum statistics in here we don't need to care much about particles but in here we need to care more about energy levels so take a look at in here in here what we need to care is this like how many particles are there in which energy level in here this particle can go in here and this particle can go in here but it won't change the microstate because these particles are indistinguishable so the only thing that we need to care is that how many particles are there in this energy level how many are there in this energy level and how many are there in this energy levels this is what will determine the microstate but in the maxwell boltzmann statistics changing these two will add another microstate so in here it makes our task easier than maxwell boltzmann statistics now what we will do is this if somehow we are able to find how these ni particles can arrange themselves in one energy level then we will get it automatically for all the energy levels then we will multiply it to get our answer so for simplicity in here i have taken an energy level whose degeneracy is 2 and now we will try to understand how these three indistinguishable particles can arrange themselves in here now for doing that we will use a really cool mathematical trick first let me clarify combinations to you first in here so see if we have like three particles three and we need to choose three of them now combination is for indistinguishable particles so which is 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial 3 minus 3 which is 0 factorial so we have one way now this is the way that we are choosing all three particles now their further arrangement won't count now what if we need to choose like two particles what will happen then so we have three particles we need to choose so 2 factorial 3 minus 2 is 1 factorial so we have three ways and what are these three ways we can choose these two particles or we can choose these two particles or we can choose these two particles so these are these three ways so remember in combination if we have some particles and we need to choose some of them then like you are choosing these two or these two this will count but choosing these two and like arranging them this first this first that won't count okay so this is really important to understand in here now the second thing that we need to understand in here is that how many lines are needed in here to create these two degenerate energy levels so let us understand it so if we have one line we have no energy level if we have two lines we have one energy level if we have three lines we have two energy levels so to create this 2 gi we need gi plus 1 lines so this is general if we want to create gi levels we need gi plus 1 lines why i am counting these lines in here because you have seen that if we choose two particles from three the ways increase okay so this is really important to see in here so now let us literally count how these three particles can arrange themselves in here now you will see a pattern in here from that we will get our answer okay so these all three can go in here okay now look at this line very carefully so one particle can go in here this is another way other particle can go in here this is another way and then other particle can go in here this is another way so we have a total of four ways so now we need to find this four way how this four way came in here 
Now look at this line carefully. This in here is also acting as an extra particle because let me tell you the answer first then we will find how this is. This is like we have four particles, four and we need to choose three of them. So we have four factorial divided by three factorial and we have in here one factorial. So this is four. So this is how this four came in here. So this line is acting as an extra particle and we are choosing three particles from these extra particles. How this is happening? See, at first we have these four particles. Okay. Now we need to choose three particles from them, which is our Ni, which is our particles. So the first way we can do is this. We can choose these three. Okay. So we can choose these three. This is our one way. Now we can choose these three. Okay. This is our second way. Now we can choose these three. Okay. This is our third way. And now we can choose this one, this one and this one. This is our fourth way. Also, if we are like a lot of degenerate and level, a lot of and we have a lot of particles also. All right. So the first way will be this one like we can select these three and the lines inside lines will also act like particles. So the question will be in how many ways we can select these particles from these all particles like the first way will be this one. This one will go somewhere else. So it will be another way like this we have chosen in here. So what we have found in here is general for any Ni and for any Gi. Now the total number of particles in here counting this hypothetical particle. Now I just want to tell you is that there is no lines thing in nature. It is just a mathematical technique or technical trick that we are using to find how Ni indistinguishable particles can arrange themselves in GI energy level. That's it. There is nothing line in nature. Okay. So the number of particles in here are Ni, these particles plus GI plus one. That is the number of lines minus two. What is this minus two? Minus two is that these N2 lines are not counted as particles. These N2 lines will be there in every type of degenerate and level. Like if there are some 10, then these N2 lines won't count. So this is that minus two. So the total number of particles in here are Ni plus Gi minus one. In here it is three plus two minus one, which is equal to four. So from these four particles, we need to choose three. So the formula in here is that Ni plus Gi minus one C and high. We have this number of particles and we are choosing these from this number of particles, which is equal to this factorial divided by this factorial, this minus this, that is Ni will cancel. So we have Gi minus one. This is what we need to find. This is for one energy level. This is very important. Now, generally for any energy level, this will be the formula. It will be I in here. Now for every energy level, like for first one, second one, third one, this will be like this. Now this is the basically the thermodynamic probability of Bose-Einstein statistics. Now we can write it like this because in here it is multiplication. So this multiplied like from one to n, how many energy levels we have. This is the thermodynamic probability of Bose-Einstein statistics. So this is our answer from this. We will find the Bose-Einstein distribution law. So as I promised at the end of every video, I will share something fun to you as a reward. So in this video, I will share a riddle come joke to you. So tell me what you would call two aligned crocodiles. Think it's a joke? Yeah, alligator because they are aligned. And also there are two L's just for the sake of this joke. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.